Welcome back, everybody. It's Zelda Bomb Squad. I am your host with the most, Crazy Juan, and we are moving on. WWE 2K19. I just beat the masked man. He turned out to be my fucking boss because he's jealous of me leaving his company, which means he was going to fall flat on his ass. He didn't want that, so he screwed me over thinking I'll help him in the long run, but Trips made a match between me and the masked man. I beat his ass, took his mask off, and turns out to be that fat prick in the ring. So, we're moving on from BCW. Hopefully, we'll get a contract with NXT. I don't know. As soon as they continue, we'll find out. Which I just did. So, here we go. Man. I'm on a roll. A roll. Remember, if a match has an objective to win the match, you must win. No shit, Sherlock. I learned that the hard way last time. You don't have to rub it in that I made a mistake, you fucking ass clown. Just saying. Just saying. What's he saying? Shut up. Or else you will fail the objective. No shit. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. Ooh. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. We're not. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment so why didn't you see it coming? Me, Baron was the masked man that attacked you. I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here. And go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Wow. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. Ooh. You can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Wow. Hey, guys. Hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help over here. All Ooh! Time. We have a different plot point. twist. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective Daniel Bryan's voice sounds kind of weird. Account, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, seven to SmackDown. SmackDown's Indies, better. This man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. Is that be microphone broken or something? Contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Fuck you. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, Seriously, is something wrong with, the, with this microphone? With aside in order to make Smackdown, or Raw. The best he sounds like a goddamn speaking spell. The exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. Boom! WWE bound took WWE. Time, I hear I, will I am. Never forget what you did. Well, don't forget it. Take a picture, write it down. I don't give a shit. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Oh uh, yeah, cause I don't want to fight or Roman. Fuck it. You could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. Smackdown. Do I get to pick? <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But Smackdown. If I have to make a decision right now, SmackDown. I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes. 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 Hear oh, that? I beat him to it. There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. I'll be eventually. I've learned anything in my career. It's never say never. I guarantee so there's going to be some time down the line where I have to join Raw. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Live. Oh, SmackDown's better anyway. Honest to God. Nowadays, it's so much better. Back in the day, Raw smoked SmackDown any, uh, any day of the week. Even the worst show of Monday Night Raw back in the Attitude Era would easily dominate the best show on SmackDown. Uh, I gotta wipe the lens off my phone. Because I see that it's blurry. 
But yeah, honest to God, dude, and dudettes, uh, SmackDown is, in my opinion, the A show. A lot of people are probably going to disagree with me. If they do, that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. But due to the fact that Raw, for like the past couple of weeks, have been getting like the lowest ratings they've ever fucking had, it's kind of hard to dispute that one. So, <gasps> I have enough points to get Drew McIntyre's theme song back in my stable. Yes! Who's in this happy place, this bitch is? All right, moving on. <laughs> Oh, by the way, everybody get used to hearing this song. I'm not trying to monetize any of these because A, I probably won't have permission, and B, there's a, cop a bunch of copyright music in this game. So, I'm just like, fuck it. I'm not getting paid for it. I don't care. I'm just doing this for fun, shits, and gigs. So, let me get out my phone because I, I need it. I need it. I need it. You all know what I'm talking about, because I just said it earlier in a shrieking voice of pure joy and ecstasy. You guys know what's coming next. Oh, yes. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, God, is it happening? Yes. I'm going to SmackDown, where it's only two hours long on last Raw, because it's three and it sucks the life out of me. Ooh. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Three hours for a Raw. Let me go ahead and explain something to you people right now. I have not watched, I have not actually sat down and watched a full episode of Raw in probably a year and a half. At, at minimum, a year and a half. Because Raw sucks that fucking much. Because they're pushing the wrong people. I mean, I'll be honest with you, do you really think that every arena that Roman Reigns steps into and they boo his ass, do you really think people are going to continue to, oh, we don't like Roman, we don't like Roman, we don't like Roman, we don't like Roman, we don't like Roman. Do you honest to God think the moment you keep getting that Roman Empire up and running, you think people are going to stick around for that shit? No, they won't. They want somebody on top, like Finn Balor, like Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose, let me throw him in there. He's a bad WWE champion back on SmackDown, but eh, you can only do the best with what you got. But I'm telling you right now, there are so many people on Raw that could take Roman Reigns to spot that Garen fucking Teed would bring ratings to the show. Put the strap on Braun fucking Strowman, an undefeatable monster with the Universal Championship. Those are ratings right there. Anybody could come in and try to challenge the Dave versus Goliath aspect of the WWE. So this is why I'm just saying, maybe I should be a writer or something like that, because I'm coming up with fucking gold. So hopefully they see this episode, they probably won't, but if they do, can you at least just give me, like, a credit for coming up with that amazing idea, because that would just be sweet. You don't have to pay me, you don't have to give me money, you don't have to do anything, just give me the adulation, and just plug me. All I gotta do is say, Zelda Bomb Squad, watch this shit, they came up with this, here you go. Boom, there we go. Everyone's gonna look at my shit, they're gonna be like, oh, you told them this? Let's check out what you're doing, and then BAM! That's how I go up. But first things first, enough of the bullshit, because we need some new entrance music that I can definitely afford now. I mean, this music's good, but it's not the same as this right now. That one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very fucking surprised how well this fucking meshes together. I unlocked all of them for Drew? Uh, I don't know about that one. It says his name, so I think we might have to go back to WWE on that shit. Well, what's DDP's looks like? Does it say South 55? Five? Nope. It's got somebody else's name on it. I can't do that. I've always, I've always been like the biggest fan of Drew McIntyre. Even when he first came to the WWE, I ended up as a SmackDown. Check that shit out. Uh, back when he was the chosen one, 
and Vince McMahon actually came out and said this is a future World Heavyweight Champion. I have always been a Drew McIntyre guy. Have been since day fucking one. Will continue to be one from this point forward. And maybe, just maybe, they're going to be doing something good with him. I hope to God they do. The guy has so much fucking talent, it's disgusting. Drew McIntyre, if you're watching this, love you, bro. You're probably not, but if you do, just in case, you are awesome as shit. What the hell is this? Main events? It's a show they used to have on Wednesdays, which I don't think they even have anymore. Alright, we'll stick with this one until I get like a DX thing or something. I don't know. And if I'm not mistaken, I got Drew McIntyre's right here. Boom. Boom. Right there, baby. We got Drew McIntyre in this one. Ooh. Yes. Give it up. Give me that chone chone. Oh, here. It's, yep. Yes. Oh, we are getting so good. I'm not even going to look. I should have looked. God damn it. Nope. Can't have somebody else's name attached to my name. That's not how I get famous. The fuck is TM61? <gasps> I fucking love it! How did I get that? Maybe when you were drunk? No! I didn't because I restarted. Sober! I have no idea how the hell I got that one. Oh, it's just a rebel. That is perfect. Fucking perfect. Holy shit. This file is so much better than the other game I had. Wow. Although I will admit, I did hit a bit of a fucking hiccup earlier. Because you guys remember the first match we had to have with Kyle Colin Colin Quinn? Cole Cole Quinn. That, like that fucking squash match we had in the fucking gymnasium. He actually beat me this time. He beat me. This the same guy that kicked out of two power slams from Braun Strowman. That motherfucker beat me. Not a good. That was not a good time. Not at all. And of course, I found out that I'm like, wait, I did not leave off in this locker room before. And of course, they just fucking hit me. I'm like, oh wait, I got wasted last night. So maybe I played a little bit, and I did. Somehow got through. One, two, three, four, five, seven opponents in one, no, eight opponents in one night while I was drunk and I don't remember shit. So, it is what it is. I'm not mad at myself for it. I mean, I was having a good time while I was recording with, or not recording, but playing with my, fuck you, Flair, before I was so rudely interrupted by her. I'm sorry. I don't care who hears me say it. I hate Charlotte Flair. I do. She has the ugliest fucking crying face I've ever fucking seen. She needs to not do that. Ever again. Call me a dick. Call me whatever you want. Quite frankly, it's your opinion. It is what it is. How many more points? To Ooh. Tra Traveler feet. 15 points. Ooh. Okay, let's just go through this shit right now. Yeah, obviously I've been focusing a little bit more on uh, the powerhouse aspect of this run, much unlike last time where I tried to keep it evenly balanced. This time, strength is just fucking dominating the hell out of it. What's this? Ladder dare... I want it. I want the ladder daredevil. Give it to me. Thank you. Alright, so what the, what's this one? Put over here. Springboard defense, I've never figured out how to do that in any of the previous 2K games, so I'm not going to worry about that one, because I need the points. Environmental offense. Huh. Table finisher, yep, we're getting two for one on this one, give it up. Bam. Alright, let's see what's next. That's probably leg endurance. Oh, leg power. Ladder bridge power bomb. Get get both of them. We'll get two for one on bomb. Two of them. Ladder. Oh my god. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's when they fucking 
take a big ass ladder and they stick one end of it on the apron and the other end on the barricade and power bomb somebody through it. And if that's the case, then holy shit. Are we not in Suplex City, but Mariner City? Okay, which one did I just. Oh, there it is. Right there. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna take a break from the power. Just fucking take it. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we get you guys all caught up? Because you guys are very far behind the fucking curve, especially you. I don't do chain wrestling, but I want it. Why? Pfft, I don't know. Aerial range, so I could probably jump like three inches further. Top rope diver. Ooh, I can climb to the top rope now? Tits! The end of this episode is going to happen when we're done doing fucking attribute boosting. So, if you guys want to go ahead and just fucking skip the rest of the episode, you can. Right now, I'm just fucking... I'm just, I'm just filling this shit out. So, like I said, everybody, if you, you want, you can leave right now. I'm going to continue recording for just a couple more minutes. Uh, if you want to stick around, that's fantastic. Thank you for the support. If not, I understand. You don't want to be bored. Um, it's it's cool. Don't worry about it. Just go. If you're hungry, go get something to eat. Uh, this the next episode will be good because I will be on fucking SmackDown. I bypassed NXT just like I said I would against that fucking fan in the, in the fucking field that was recording me, and then some dickwad punch, donkey punched me in the back of the head. So it is what it is. Springboard diver. I see. I already see that shit already. There we go. So go get something to eat. You know, go have an intermission break or whatever, and uh, come back a little bit shortly because we only had four more points to spend, and we're going to put it all in defense because, yes. I'm saying it that one. Fair enough. Because, well, because I've realized that I've gotten a lot better at swinging reversals at bitches, so it's like, you know what? I think I can do this. It's fine. So let's go ahead and get this last one right over here. And then, bam, we are all out of points. Yep. Uh, nothing we can do here. Nothing we can do there. Let's just go ahead and see if we, get, we have any messages. Oh, Baron. I'm so sorry. Can we please talk? Nope. Answer your phone. Buzz, please talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> the next fucking text message, and this is an impossibility, so I'm counting it as a joke. So please, God, nobody get offended by it, because I know the country is a very sensitive, sensitive creature nowadays. But next text message I get from him is going to be containing a video of him hanging himself. How is he going to get that to me? I don't fucking know. He'll figure out a way, because Baron's a slick bitch that way. I shouldn't have gone that far, but I did. It was for a gag. So we're all right. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. But Baron has AIDS. That's great. Good for you, man. I swear I meant well. Oh, really? I had a guaranteed NXT contract after kicking out of not one but two Strowman power slams. Two! Roman Reigns couldn't even do that, but I did it. And you? Fuck me. Oh, I'm not. No. Fuck you. Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry. Okay? I bet. I bet. I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer, and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish, and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be. So It's coming dirt. Ooh! decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down and maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. Well, how about you try apologizing to the person behind the Buzz? How about you try apologizing to not Buzz, but the outsider, John Wilson. Mic drop. Bitch. Swear to God, dude. Ooh. 
from inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar. Okay, tell you what, we're going to stop the episode there. Um, it's 19 minutes, it's going on 20, so we got to end it here. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to join the Bomb Squad, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment below, let me know how I'm doing. I told you all I was barren. I called that shit. Next time, we're going to listen to some podcasts. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And uh, we'll go from there to onward towards my first match on SmackDown. I'm not calling it SmackDown Live because that's a joke. So, until thank you so much for joining me. I already said everything already. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I've already had a few too much. But you know what? Who gives a shit? I'm enjoying myself. We're all enjoying ourselves. That's what life's all about, having a good time. So, until next time, everybody, tune in next week so you can see the debut of a century. Your boy going to SmackDown Live. Uh, oh, I just fucked it up. God damn it. Bye.